you know, I used to joke, <laughs> you know, LASIK, it costs more money than a pair of glasses, but it doesn't cost more money than 10 pairs of prescription glasses over the course of a decade or two, you know. And so I used to joke that, gosh, if, uh, if everyone had to have laser eye surgery for their best vision and someone came along and said, hey, I've got an invention. You don't have to have laser eye surgery anymore. It rests on the ears and the bridge of your nose. I call them glasses. Could they have sold those for $1,000, $2,000 a pair? I don't know, maybe. But, you know, there's kind of a cultural element of saying, you know, like, I don't want to wear glasses. You know, I'd love to be able to walk around without relying on glasses or contacts. Of course, people who are very athletic or spending a lot of the, their time doing athletics. They may be quite irritated to have to deal with glasses or contacts. People who have very severe prescriptions. I mean, if you wake up and you can't even really, you know, you're fumbling for your glasses on the bedside table because you have such a strong, strong per, uh, prescription, you, you can't even see what it says on the alarm clock next to the bed. You know, these are all groups of patients who like really change their daily lives by getting out of glasses or contacts and taking advantage of LASIK. And in, I don't know, 99% of the time, it's going to be like a safe, comfortable outcome for the patient.